you didn't see a lot of like white guys with a black girl you saw like white girl with a black guy sometimes that's more common that's been more common for quite a while but you never saw the other way around but now you actually see more white guys with black girls nowadays in at least where i live and then sometimes i'm telling her like as a joke like ah i don't feel original anymore <laughs> Even though Wendy Kimani has been living in the Netherlands since 2014, she has had two huge hits with her perennial collaborator Gillard in Kenya. But other than that, it's been quiet so far on the creative front. What are Wendy's present and future plans? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to starting to vlog, you know, because people have been asking me about my natural hair journey and uh, you know it's like how is it in holland the people who are relocating to holland they want to know a lot of information about that how is it they're scared of of moving and all that i'm like okay i might not know a lot of things but what i know what i've gone through is probably what a lot of uh people who move go through so said so this is i'll just start sharing my experience you know things like that uh, if it be it hair life um, being a mom you know also just being a woman you know style and things like that uh, finding yourself after a baby <laughs> yeah difficult moments things that also I wish someone had told me maybe someone else will hear them and their journey after a baby will not be as hard Maybe they will prepare, you know, they'll prepare something and it will be a little bit easier because I can't say it will completely be easy. Um, but yeah, I would like to just share a little bit about everything that I've been going through and it will just continue being a journey, you know, the more I learn, the more I share. And I think it's a good way to keep me creative and expand my video making uh, experience that I got so there will be music and but there will also be this I'm just adding more people see my music but they don't really know what's going on so yeah I'll be bringing people a little bit into my life I also have some friends here who are like you know hey what do you do you know how do you do how do you get to dress like this and like that would you get this stuff so also the new friends I've made in Holland are very psyched to see a vlog from me, I guess. So does that now mean that music is going to take a backseat to vlogging? I think they're both major. They're both major because they're things I'm feeling very passionate about. So, yeah, when I get to do music, I'll do music. And this, this is something I, at least I feel I can do every week, you know. With music, sometimes, you know, you can't force creativity. <laughs> you can't force a song to happen. And um, here, I, to be honest, I haven't found or met the right people to record uh, a song the way I would like it to be recorded yet. There's a lot of trance and dance uh, producers, which is awesome. It's also a very interesting route, but for, for Kenya, you know for africa or something like that you need a certain beat you know which i haven't found anyone to record it here so i'm traveling back and forth to see that if i can record and keep that going you know when the kimani told us she will soon be visiting kenya we wanted to know what the purpose of her visit was i'm going to record actually yeah and to introduce taji to <laughs> he's met his main family but now his extended family, friends, so many people want to meet him. So, yeah, I think it's a great time. It'll be one year, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so also it's that, you know, it's really exciting to be there with him. But also to record. I need, yeah, I'm craving to do some music. If I happen to meet, you know, people from here and we do something and I'm quite open for me I just love being able to create being able to entertain you know to just do that part that's why I 
I fell in love with music in the beginning. So I feel like I can be versatile. I can do a lot. Wendy Kimani is a singer, an actress, a future vlogger, a wife, and a mother. Where does this multi-talented woman see herself in three or four years? In three or four years, I would like to be back with music and further than I got before to sort of have a stable place where I can maybe even tour with my music, hopefully. That's what I would like to do, hopefully. Um, and uh, family-wise, yeah, I maybe, should I say it? <laughs> Three, four years, five years. Maybe Taji has a sibling. <laughs> no, we don't know. We don't know. And right now we are like, one is fine. <laughs> Wendy Kimani was already a household name in Kenya before she left for the Netherlands. Does she have any regrets that she left Kenya to settle in the Netherlands? No. No regrets. Because if I say, if I didn't come here, um, then I would have regrets about family life, you know. I did my career part. I gave it the time, you know. And now it was time to give time to family. So it's, it worked out the way it was supposed to work out. And I'm still passionate about music. On a lighter note, what was the first thing that struck Wendy on her arrival in the Netherlands? The cold. They're cold still, till today. Actually, it's get it's gotten better in the past year. To be honest, yeah, it's gotten a little bit better. I used to have a lot of layers. Now I can do with not even a winter jacket, with a normal jacket and a sweater inside. I know how to work with it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever go like. And then I had to get used to the time, keeping time. Keep time. Dutch people keep time. They come 15 minutes before the time you guys discussed to meet. Uh, you see Kenyans. Kenyans have a, let's meet at one. That's three. <laughs> so <laughs> that one was a, yeah, that was culture shock. And then you learn that because of buses and trains. That forces you to keep time because you will miss buses. You will miss trains. Those things go they say 53. 53, it's moving. What will Wendy say to her friends and to other people in Kenya who think Europe is paradise on earth? Europe is not a bed of roses. It is not. If not harder here. Because I used to be like, you know, when you have a kid, it's fine. But I got stressed when I was like, okay, I'm going to have a kid in Holland. You have no help. In Kenya, you get help. You know, you can hire help. Here, no. So it's just you. I talk to my friends and I tell them, look, I'm doing everything. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, okay. And sometimes they don't have help for like a Sunday. And they're like, oh, my life is crazy. And I'm like, yeah. Now this is this is me every day. Being a biracial couple sometimes means eyes looking at you, either out of curiosity or sometimes out of disapproval. Have Marvin and Wendy ever felt eyes prying on them? Yeah. I'm even joking about it. We walk around here in the shopping uh, center, and when we first started dating here, and she visited me. You didn't see a lot of like white guys with a black girl. You saw like white girl with a black guy sometimes. That's more common. That's been more common for quite a while. But you never saw the other way around. But now you actually see more white guys with black girls nowadays. In at least where I live. And then sometimes I'm telling her like as a joke, like ah, I don't feel original anymore. <laughs> I'm like you did create it originally. Did I, did I set a trend here or something? Like, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no, we never get looks for that. If anything, Taji has just stolen all the thunder. All the thunder. 
because every time we're out with him everyone just is like oh my god look at him because he's always smiling at everyone especially girls especially girls <laughs> already at nine months <laughs> marvin is now a regular visitor to kenya but what was his first impression the first time he went to kenya it was 2010 yeah, 2010, summer, 2010, well, that's winter in Kenya for our summer. And uh, yeah, it was a culture shock, of course, for me. <laughs> I mean, not that crazy, but it's like, for me, it was weird seeing police uh, with guns on the street. You know, that's not because of the Al-Shabaab was, of course, uh, already uh, happening back then. For me, it's just like, okay, like uh, with like, machine guns and everything, what's going on? And people crossing the road, the highway, and like, it's just people crossing the highway, yeah, what's going on, you know, like, yeah, they, uh, yes, <laughs> and uh, if you go to Naivasha, all of a sudden you have to hit your brakes, because there's some donkeys crossing the road, you know, like, what? <laughs> but yeah, so, um, those are some things that are different, but a lot of things are the same, you know, like, people go to work, they drive cars, they, <laughs> those are the things that are similar, you have shopping malls, you know. Does Marvin have any message? For his family and friends in Kenya. No, just Nakumi uh, Sana, <laughs> Nakumi Kenya. You know, like um, and the people and uh, my family, my friends. Uh, just general vibe there because the culture is so different. You know, a year it's cold all the time, most of the time. So it's very like in the house culture, and in Kenya, everything, a lot of things take place outside. And, uh, <laughs> So yeah, that's, uh, I really miss Kenya. It's been uh, a while for me, almost two years, I think. And it doesn't look like I'll be going anytime soon. So hopefully in 2019, I'll be going back to Kenya. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see. So uh, yes. At the end of this open and insightful interview with the underwaters, it is only logical in a Baratia family that the discussion will turn to food. So we leave the underwaters while they are discussing about Ugali and Giteri. Oh, I like skuma, you know, and Giteri, and what's called Giteri? Yeah. Giteri, and uh, yeah, that's the stuff I like, but that I don't understand. Because then I'm saying, okay, explain to me why you like uh, Ugali. Because it's nice because you can have it with something. So I'm, yeah. I'm thinking logical. But what about if you replace that tasteless ugali and put something nice there to combine it with the other things? No, but ugali is... Like potatoes, like, it's, you know, it's, like... It's, it's ugali, it has, when you combine it with skuma and, and meat, especially ugali with meat, is like something you never... There's no combination. Rice even, and meat? No, that's something Potatoes else. and meat? No, that's something <laughs> Ugali and meat. But the, these are the little chit chats you have, you know. But so it has, has something. Yeah.